Hey besties, and thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you guys are new here, my name is Lindsay, and I love makeup, skincare, just beauty so, so much. And in today's video, I am super excited because not only do we have the BoxyCharm base box for, I almost said November, December, but we also have the premium box, which I've never received. It's my first month ever, so I'm so excited to be able to share that with you as well. So if you guys are interested, definitely keep watching. Let's start off by showing you guys the size difference between the base box and the luxe box. This is insane, okay? So I am so excited to get into the bigger box, but let's start with the base box because I feel like that's only right. You guys know, oh, by the way, if you guys want to sign up for the box for any of these boxes I will link my referral code down below in the description box as well as all the makeup on my face if you guys are interested if you do sign up for BoxyCharm I do get a small commission so if you are not comfortable with that I totally understand you can go to their website do it that way but let's go over like how they compare like the prices how much product you get all of that but yeah I just thought the size difference even was really really crazy so we all know with the base box is $27.99 a month you get five full-size products and they usually retail for about $175 that's what it says on the website but to me I feel like it's more around like $150 that's more fair and then it's delivered monthly whereas for the Lux box at least the winter Lux box it's worth an average value of $395 that is insane. It has eight full-size beauty and lifestyle items every three months for $57.99. So you upgrade the base box and you get it every three months. I am so excited to see what is inside, but I just wanted you guys to see like those differences in price, product, and the average value. So let's first jump into the base box. I do love the base box. I really love that you get it every single month. Like, come on. I just look forward to it every month. It makes me sad that the other box is you can't have that option to get them every month though I will say they are kind of steep so maybe I'm not too mad at that the theme card for this month is tis the season for being extra y'all I am always extra 24 7 year round but I think that is so cute and then what we really love the theme card for is the back because it has all the descriptions all the price points most importantly and I really enjoy that about it so we can count up at the end of each box and see what the value really was we're gonna do that in this video we do that in every single video over here so don't you worry <gasps> I own this. I'm gonna have to put this in the giveaway when we hit 10k because I own this. This is the Dominique Unconditional Palette. Y'all, it's from Dominique Cosmetics. It is, let me tell you how much money, $28. And when I bought this, I bought the whole collection. So it came with this beautiful palette and then also two, I believe like liquid lipsticks or something like that. Oh, if I didn't already have this palette, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this would be my favorite favorite eyeshadow palette that we got in the box period it, it is it is my favorite I just already own it so it's not as exciting for me but y'all if you have base boxes you are subscribed and you get this palette ah I am so happy for you it is such a good one it's so beautiful it's mauvey it has that beautiful like kind of like whiny burgundy color in there such a gorgeous palette a lot of neutrals I get beautiful looks with this palette and I love also this packaging way more than like her cardboard packaging it just feels more luxe expensive weighted I love this so much and if you guys got this I just I'm so excited for you it says love the moment you'll cherish the memories I love that every single piece of product she comes out with or at least a lot of them do have messaging like very important messaging I love everything Dominique Cosmetics and Dominique in general stands for wow blew my socks off Good job, BoxyCharm. Next up is the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. Y'all know I love skincare. I love receiving skincare in my BoxyCharms. The only thing I could say is maybe I would have preferred a different 
skincare product this month because I think last month we did get the Eyes Eyes Baby Cream, which I've been using so much. <gasps> no, actually, you guys, I didn't even film last month's um, BoxyCharm because I was so busy with holiday and everything, which, by the way, I hope everyone had a happy holiday, a happy Thanksgiving, and I also hope if you do celebrate, you have a great Christmas, but I didn't get to do the November BoxyCharm, I don't think, so I'm sorry about that. If you guys want a short with me just sharing with you guys what I got let me know I don't even think I opened it yet so yeah you guys but anyways I wish I would have got something different and then I believe I also got a blue eye serum that's like a gel formula that might have been the month before Four. So I've got a lot of eye creams lately. I think I want like a moisturizer or maybe a toner, something along those lines, but this is beautiful anyways. I'm very happy to get it. I haven't really tried products that do have retinol, I don't think. I love the packaging and I've always wanted to try something from the brand Murad. Ooh, and it's $89, which is insane. Next up is the LaRousse Beauty Special Edition three-piece eye Eye brush set which is $38 Ooh, $38 for three brushes okay I think I have got brushes from this brand before with BoxyCharm oh sorry this is what the <laughs> um, packaging looks like I'm over here trying to like rip into it before I show you I'm sorry I just get excited it's like a present you know that's why I love BoxyCharm it just it's something new every month and I love that you know so this is what it looks like. So it looks like we have a tiny little detail brush, smudging brush, whatever you want to use it for. We have another brush right here, which is a fluffy blending brush. And then we have this brush, which to be honest, you could use this in multiple different ways. You could use it to blend. I personally like to take a really dense like foiled shadow, put it on something like this that is kind of loose but a little bit dense, and I like to sparkle it on the lids for that really beautiful glittery shimmery light effect if that makes sense. So I am going to use all of these. They do feel pretty soft. I'm really happy with the ones from the last brand. I can't remember the names, you guys, for the life of me, but you know the one we got in that really nice container and it was like a nice texture on it and design? I can't remember the name, you guys, but if you do, you know what I'm talking about and I've been loving those brushes, so I'm so excited to try these as well. Next up is from the brand Real Her and this is the Blurring Veil Set Your Goal Powder, which is $25. Ooh. Sorry. Um, and I'm always down to try a new powder. Come on. Typically, the powders in my collection I do own are lighter than this, so I'm not sure if it's going to show up too dark on my skin. I'm hoping not, but you never know, so I will keep you guys updated on that. Y'all, I was talking mess, but I did get another skincare product that is not an eye cream. It's the La Pet Beauty Vita Yellow Fresh Cleanser, and it's $32, y'all. I was talking so much crap, and I got one, so I'm so excited. I, again, just wanted another skincare product that wasn't an eye cream, so this this says it's a one-step vitamin C cleanser that helps to brighten skin while removing debris and makeup. A jelly cleanser. It contains 88% moisturizing essence to keep your skin hydrated. So with me, a lot of my face washes that I hold near and dear, they can tend to dry me out. I do have leaning dry skin, so for that, I feel like this might be perfect. I'm very excited to see if it works out for me, and if you guys want to update, just let me know, and I will try to let you know as soon as possible. I'm not sure if I'll be able to use this one today, but maybe tomorrow, and I'll keep you guys updated like next week. Let me know if you guys want an update. So the overall total of the box is actually higher than the average usually. It's $212. However, you gotta think that eye cream was $89, so we knew it was gonna be pretty steep. So if you deduct that, it's $123. So of course, if you're not happy with the eye cream, then maybe it wasn't like the best box for you. But even $123 on spending $27.99 is really high. And I'm actually happy about my eye cream. The only thing I wasn't like super excited about would have to be that powder 
because I'm not sure how it's going to show up on my skin, but everything else I know I will get my use out of, and also the palette, but you know, I'm so excited about the palette. Obviously, I can't use it because I already have one, but I'm excited to be able to hopefully one day give it to one of you guys or a family friend or whoever. So yeah, I'm really happy with the value. I'm happy with the products I got, and let's move on to the Luxe one, which I know we're all so excited about. First thing immediately that I noticed about the Lux box is how massive the theme card is in comparison, which makes sense because we do have eight products. As always, we'll be reading through the descriptions, the price, and then also I'll let you know the value of the box at the end. Maybe I won't read all the descriptions because then this video would be super long, but if I feel like I need to, then I will. <gasps> I just saw something by accident, you guys. Spoiler, it's something very popular, so I'm so excited to dive into the box. The first thing that my eyes gravitated towards in the box, of course, was the Fenty Beauty product, which is the Stenna Lip Paint $26. This one is in the shade Uncuffed, which I will say I am pretty impressed to see this in the box. I've never in a BoxyCharm seen anything Fenty Beauty, so that I was pretty impressed with. The shade is uncuffed, and I do feel like I own this already as well. I love the packaging on these. They look like little nail polishes, to be honest, but like little bougie ones. And to be fair, these make your lips look amazing. It's a very thin, lightweight formula. I just feel like these days I'm not really reaching for liquid lips as much so I would have rather maybe got the new lip stains in a different color or the um, cream lipsticks because to me I don't know if I'll get a bunch of use out of this especially because like I just said I think I already own one of the shades and I don't reach for the one that I own so for that reason I'm so excited to get something Fenty Beauty I just wish it was something I think that I would use more but if you do like liquid lips, I think you are going to like this. It's so easy to apply the applicator. I don't want to open this one because I might give it to one of you guys or a friend, family member, whatever, but just know the applicator makes it really easy to do a lip line. So I enjoy this being in here. I just, I already own it and I don't use the one that I own too often. Ooh, this I do not own. And again, I've never seen anything Anastasia Beverly Hills in a BoxyCharm. This is the Off to Costa Rica face palette and it is $58. So we're getting a $58 palette in here, which is insane. That right there is the value of the box. And I don't think I saw this release. $58 and is this size though? Are you kidding? Let's, let's look at the colors. For $58, a face palette these days, I'm not reaching for face palettes so often compared to, you know, in previous years. But I will say there are some, like the Fenty Beauty Face Eyes and Cheek Palette. I reach for that one quite often. And also there's another one, I think just the Natasha Denona Mini Biba. That one I reach for a lot and it has tones similar to these two. So I am kind of excited to try it. I've never tried like a bronzer from Anastasia, I don't think. So I'm excited to try it or a blush, right? I don't think I have. Have I, I have tried highlighters though, so I am super excited to try this to get it in the box. I do not know if I would have paid $58 for this specific palette on my own. However, it might blow my socks off. I'll keep you guys updated, but really nice thing to get in the box. Y'all, I'm gonna say it. This is my favorite BoxyCharm box I've ever received. We also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax, which if you know, you know this is so popular right now. Just in general, I am so excited. Fun fact, I almost bought this on the VIB sale, but I held off. I was like, mm, I don't need it. $23, by the way, and it says it's an easy-to-use styling wax that lifts, tames, and sculpts every hair with extreme hold. It's your secret to feathered, locked-in brows. It sets every hair in place without a stiff feel, residue, or flaking. 
I am so excited. Oh my goodness. This is like, I can't believe I'm saying it, but I think it's like the thing I'm most excited about because it's the thing I've been wanting to buy myself and just put off. So this is what it looks like. Look at it in all its glory. I am beyond excited to get this in the box. So happy with this. I might have to sign up for Lux if they don't send it to me every three months. If I don't notice that pattern, I'm gonna sign up myself because this box is phenomenal so far. Another popular product, y'all. We have the One Size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer, which looks like this on the outside. This is actually $30. And I've seen great reviews about this as well. It looks like this. I will go ahead and just read the description on this one briefly. It's an instant blurring hydrating primer that minimizes pores, evens out texture, and controls shine while gripping makeup for all day ultimate wear. Secure the blur to secure the beat. I love that. I love this. I am like... Y'all, there's been like three products I would have went out and spent my own money on so far. So I am so excited about this. So excited. Then from the brand Herbivore, we have the Cloud Jelly Vegan Collagen and Tremella Plumping Hydration Serum. It has peptides. I love, love, love all the ingredients listed. I love the brand Herbivore. I have a rose face spray from them that is super calming. I use it almost every single day. So this, first of all, packaging is so cute. I love that. Did I say the price? It's $48. I love these little droppers. Mm, I can't wait to use this you guys y'all know I live for the skincare like I said earlier and this to me is probably my favorite skincare item so far so I am excited about this as well. Next up is from the brand Molly Beauty. I've never heard of that brand. Let me know down below though if you guys have. And it's the Best Stress Lids Neutrals and Bolds 14 Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadows. Okay, so I'm excited because eyeshadow palettes are something I haven't bought recently. I can't even remember the last eyeshadow palette that I bought. Yeah. I don't know why though. I think it's just I've been buying other complexion products and lip products. For some reason, I don't think I've got an eyeshadow palette recently, but this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's super, looks to be neutral. Let me see. Yeah, a lot of neutrals in here. Really pretty shimmers. I'll go ahead and swatch three of the shimmers just to see what they look like. Seems like a super like sheeny kind of formula not very metallic more of a nice little refined sheen but sometimes I like that oh this palette is $45 though I don't know if I would have bought this on my own for $45 although of course I'm gonna need to try it out on I think I could pull out some really beautiful everyday looks with it I just don't know if I would have bought it on my own. You know what it's kind of giving me just by like the look and kind of the layout? It kind of reminds me of um, like Lorac, Lorac. I think this kind of gives me that vibe. So I'll try it out and we'll see how we feel about it. Last product though is, this is not the right card. It's the Dear Midnight Set to Last Setting Spray. It's a lightweight, alcohol-free and hydrating spray that locks your makeup look ensuring your set throughout the whole day so this to me like the packaging anyway it's very like mysterious I feel like I do enjoy that the spray is $30 and this is a new launch yeah I do quite like that packaging I will say I need to obviously try it out Ooh, that's pretty nice huh love 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 the mister the total of the box is $300 which is pretty good considering it is a $57 box I am so excited with this box. It has so many hot products. The One Size, the Fenty Beauty, a lot of people still do like that. I just don't gravitate towards it so much anymore. The um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze, that one really took me out. I am so excited with the box. Even the base box, you guys, I was so impressed with, especially that Domini Cosmetics palette. I'd be sad if I got the Luxe box and didn't get that Dominique palette to, palette 
to be honest because it's super good so I am so excited about all the things that I got I will have to try everything out to keep you updated if you want an update on literally anything all you have to do is comment on any video and I will let you know my thoughts and opinions on that product I love you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I love doing boxycharm unboxings and really just unboxings in general so hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe all the good things if you did enjoy and I will see you in the next one besties bye